Hey guys, this is your girl Sira. I am back. Yes, finally doing a new vlog after. Okay, let's not count because it's embarrassing how long it's taken me to get back on track. But that's exactly what I want to talk about today. Um, getting back on track, refocusing, and getting things going again after you kind of feel like you've either gotten too comfortable and complacent or maybe kind of felt like things have fallen apart. I don't know. Um, it's been a while since I've done a vlog and that's primarily because uh, I just got really distracted with a lot of other stuff happening and I dropped the ball where vlogs are concerned. And People have been really asking me, like, when are you going to do another vlog? What's happening? Why aren't we hearing from you and seeing from you? And it's only recently since um, talking to a few persons, like, like my husband and another friend of mine just last night, actually, um, it really kind of put a fire in my heart again to get these vlogs going again and to talk about the importance of refocusing your life. Um, with my musical journey, uh, it's never a dull moment. It's always something else happening. And I'm at a place right now where I've been doing a bit of refocusing. I've been, I've had to go back to the core, the reason why I do what I do. Bringing that to the forefront of my mind again and holding on to that as the, the reason for running after my dreams and chasing my destiny. And that in itself helps to ignite my passion and it's re-motivating me as well to not give up, not give in because let's be real, things come, life happens, um, you look around you, you see people doing stuff and sometimes you, you can feel very frustrated. Um, I am the type of girl, I plan, and I like that when I plan something, that it goes according to how I've planned it. Sierra so don't take kindly to plans falling through, or people making promises, or um, saying they'll do stuff and then that not happening. But in life, the reality is, sometimes we have expectations and our expectations aren't met because we're dealing with other human beings just like us, who also have their challenges, who also have their limitations, and who are not gonna be able to fulfill a particular thing all the time. Um, and also, when it comes to plans, life just happens and things fall through. So it's really about being able to adapt. Like my mom always said, there are two types of people in the world. You're either a thermometer or a thermostat. Are you gonna be the type of person who only goes up and down, you know, when things are going good, you're on the mountaintop, and when things are going are going bad, you're down the valley and you're depressed and you're whatever. Are you gonna be or are you gonna be the type of person that no matter what is happening around you, you determine your attitude, you determine how you will work through a particular situation. That's the type of person I wanna be. I don't just want to test temperatures and if it's hot, I'm hot. If it's cold, I'm cold. I want to be the one setting the regulations. I want to be the one under control. And so with a lot of prayer, a lot of support from friends and family, you know, just verbally encouraging, hearing you guys, you know, I mean, you guys mean so much to me. You'll never, ever, ever truly understand the place that you hold in my heart. But just, just working knowing that at the end of the day this is all so that god can get the glory and so that his will in my life can be fulfilled to me that's passion and it should be motivation enough and so with that in mind i keep my focus <laughs> um i'm reminded why i'm doing what i'm doing and my passion and my love for music and the arts is ever strong so I'll be keeping you guys posted. I'll be sharing my experiences, my, you know, random stuff that I do with my friends, my family, my sisters, my husband. Well, some stuff that I do with my husband, not everything. You know, we got to keep it PG. <laughs> but I'll just be sharing 
more of me with you because that's what I've been called to do. I'm here to serve. So I hope you guys are well and I love you. Until, bye.